All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project Science Psycho again with you today. And in this one, we are going to be covering the second part of the Dirt series from Colin McRae. Colin McRae Dirt 2. So, as far as we know, from the first installments and everything, Colin McRae games have been have always been focusing on rallies and other parts, other kinds of racing games, but mostly rallies. So Dirt 2 is the second installment in the Dirt series to kind of get the, uh, how should we call it, the a bit more non-classical um, rally style of the game. Um, it was developed and published by Codemasters back in 2009, um, first for the Nintendo DS actually, PlayStation 3 and the PSP, and I think the Wii was there as well. Um, oh yeah, I missed the Xbox. Xbox 360 was there as well, but it only came later for the PC platforms like Windows and OS X. Um, in the first game, uh, in the series, since McRae's death in 2007, and the last to feature his name title, this one is also the first and only game series to be if available on a Nintendo home console and the last game in the series to actually be released on handhelds. Um, most of the games, well, all of the other games were pretty much released for the, um, how shall we call it, for the regular or more popular platforms like PlayStation, Xbox and Windows. But Dirt 2 was actually released um, for the Nintendo DS as well, um, and the PSP as well. Um, the game actually includes some famous names in the Rally series, such as Ken Block, Travis Pastrana, and Dave Mira as well. Um, and it pretty much upgrades on the first Dirt game that was released with new race events, uh, stadium events, and traveling from another event, from one event to the other, and having kind of like a headquarters in the game um, with contemporary off-road events in the meantime um, to kind of give you a feel of the real-world environment and challenge you in there as well, and not only in the stadiums. Um, the game pretty much takes place across the most of the world actually Asia Europe Africa and I think it's North America and it has five different event types plus plus three more kind of special game modes um, and to top it all off dirt 2 also has a multiplayer mode which you can enjoy pretty much um, over the internet with your friends and um, play against other players and not just the PC, um, the AI that was made for the game itself. Um, it is followed by a sequel, Dirt 3, but we will be covering this, well, we will be covering that one later on. Um, the graphics and the gameplay itself are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, the gameplay is a kind of a classic racing rally game with some events and things that pretty much distinguish it from the other ones um, in the Rayleigh series, but not in the Dirt, Dirt series. Um, the Dirt series is pretty much known for the races in the stadiums and all around the different arenas and things, um, while not having to be exactly focused on the real-world Rayleigh stages. Um, so yeah, the graphics themselves, as you can see, are quite amazing for the, two for the 2009 year. Um, it was one of the heavier games, actually, that was released in 2009, and it took a beast of a computer back then to cover it, pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be all from my side for this one. I don't want to spoil it too much for you. So in the meantime, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the videos, and join me in the next one.